Good morning. We got Stu from Hawaii, I see. Trish from Arizona. We've got Aaron from Michigan. Susanna from Torrey. We've got Mary from Arizona. Colleen from Utah. Dr. Martin from Oregon. Looks like we're covering the, the globe quite well. Karen from Florida. Angie, uh, you want to you wanna take it over? I'll go ahead and pass the invisible baton over to you. Thank you, Ryan. Thanks for passing the baton. Good morning, everyone. Uh, what a wonderful Wednesday. We had an absolutely incredible November, which is really unheard of for um, network marketing. Um, it was our largest month in history, and I know that we continue to say that month after month. So the, that is absolutely awesome that each month we're growing, even in the slow seasons. Um, uh, Mumford, I think, will give us a, a few more details as to how great uh, November was, but we're gonna kick off, and uh, I don't see him on here, so we're gonna kick off, and we're gonna start off by announcing our December promotion. So we had a great November promotion where you could get a um, backpack with the purchase of 200 PV. So this month, we are going to do a um, sling bag, which is one of those uh, small um, bags that go across uh, crosswise across your body. So it's gonna be a sling bag, a water bottle, a very cool water bottle. It has like an orange gradient and then a mask. So uh, you'll be able to keep yourself safe during the holiday season, get your 200 PV order in and make sure that you get your active swag. Uh, we're having a lot of fun with all the swag that we're doing for the promotion. So we wanna make sure you guys all get your swag and, and, and be sporting the actives logos. So, um, Ryan Mumford is just joining, and as soon as he joins by audio, I'm gonna I'm going to uh, kind of put him on the spot and throw him over the time over to him to talk about November and uh, the numbers that we had. Thompson, did you want to say something? I was just gonna say while he's logging in because he was on earlier with me. I think he's having some uh, connectivity issues. Do you uh, has everybody seen what you're talking about? It might be if you've oh, got it, it might be cool to share it because really. The yeah. water bottle, I think, is the coolest uh, piece of swag that we've ever done. Um, okay, there we go. Here we go. Oh, okay, here we go. It looks like it's uh, there. We go. Look at that. So that is um, that. That's the sling bag that Angie's talking about. If you haven't yet seen it, and the I've got to got to move some of my my. There we go. The 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 mask and and the gradient water bottle. I love that water bottle. I think that um, the designers did a really good job with it eye-catching. If you don't have a, a water bottle, you need one of these, especially with the launch of Arrow. So yes, a, I am excited about this promotion. And um, if you have too many things already, swag items, well, now you've got some gift for the holidays. <laughs> <laughs> if you're just overflowing with too many um, active items, which I don't frankly think anybody is since we haven't really produced very many of them. But all right. And let's Thanks for not, sharing that, Angie. Yeah. yeah. Let's not forget the promotion that Ryan and David launched at the event where uh, they launched part of the December promotion early where any order over 50 PV gets a free genomics. So that um, is restarting in the month of December. So even if you got, uh, it's limited to one person account and even though they launched it in November and uh, we have it restarting in December. So any order over 50 PV will get a free genomics um, plus the swag items. So uh, this is a great, great time to get some more active swag plus uh, stock up in some genomics and uh, we will uh, get your get your product stocked up okay is I think Mumford is must be having connection issues because he's not on um, he, 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 he's on uh, but he's, he, on? he doesn't have audio oh, he says. Okay. So, so Ryan if you can speak if you can hear us go ahead and, and mute yourself up oh, we saw him there for a second um, but he, he says that he's working on it right now okay um, well shoot so, all right. He he he'll he'll probably get it get a second and um, get it figured out in a second. He can he can jump on. Okay. Uh, I know that he wanted to really talk about November and the numbers that are that are kind of you know coming in finalized today. Um, and uh, I think you covered it. Um, he'll add more color to it, but it really was a spectacular month. And um, I think it, it 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 far exceeded our expectations, and it's a real testament to commitment and testament to people. You know going out and getting it and getting it done so you know for to all of you guys we take our hats off um, in all of our markets the U.S. Peru and Mexico it's interesting from our vantage point each country kind of has its own unique challenges um, from time to time um, whether they're 
you know, distractions with one, you know, one thing or another. We know that the, the biggest enemy to success in any industry, but really in our industry is distraction, any kind of distractions. And so it's really great when we see, uh, you know, one, one market might be struggling with something, you know, I, I think a lot th things that happen uh, politically tend to be a big distraction. The pandemic has been a gigantic distraction in, in so many ways. Um, uh, people going back to school, so on and so forth. But um, whenever we see what, ha you know, what, what occurred in November happen, it really is an exciting thing because we see, you know, for me, it looks like rally. It looks like people are really rallying and, you know, people are just hitting new ranks. And so we don't have them yet, but in probably a week, we're going to have the final audited new ranks. And I know we have a lot of 500 club qualifiers. We have a lot of people that qualified for the promotions in November, just a ton of them. And, I, and I'll say that's in spite of the long wait times. I think it's probably worth mentioning that we are working on a, on a contingency plan for end of the month um, scenarios where we have these really long waits. It's why we extended the, the month one additional day. Um, we, we had a lot of, you know, we heard from people across the board in all markets and we knew how long the waits were. So we apologize for that. We are working to improve that to decrease the whole time uh, at times moving forward. It's just one of those situations where uh, it's not always like that. Um, but nonetheless, we are uh, putting some mechanisms in place to try and mitigate those long wait uh, hold times. But even in spite of that, we had just a banner month. It was really a banner month. And um, as Angie said, we broke a record, you know, our personal best for, for, for uh, actives. So Ryan, are you with us? You've got your ears on. It doesn't look like it. His, his camera's turned off and he's muted, um, okay. Angie. So why don't we just go ahead and keep <laughs> All right, well, we're going to keep going. Um, we did have our November, our event, uh, and we got all the voting, all of the videos posted onto the app. So in your app, there's a new section called um, Actives Events, and you're going to see the Define Your Future videos in there. We've included the buzz bites, we included the presentations. The only video that we're missing that we're getting um, edited right now is the uh, the spot with uh, Sinead. Sinead Irwin was the nutritional. Uh, uh, consultant that we had with us. She was live with Ryan and David, and she talked about the new Aero product. Um, and with that, we had announced um, that anyone that enrolled five people in the month of November uh, were going to be able to have a uh, get a sample of the Aero and then also go into um, a raffle to be have a personal coaching session with Sinead. So we will be announcing that this Friday. Um, so that we know who's going to do the per personal coaching with Sinead Irwin. She's absolutely incredible. Um, she has a lot of knowledge about um, health and nutrition, um, and you'll love working with her if you happen to be one of the people that wins the raffle. So we have five spots for um, Spanish and five spots for English. And again, all you had to do was enroll five people for the month of November. Anyone that enrolled um, someone in November is going to go into a um, wild card slot. So you still, even if you didn't get your five, you still have a chance to do that coaching with Sinead. So uh, this is going to be really cool. Be sure to, we'll get you some more information about um, the, how we're going to do the raffle on Friday, and we'll send that out to each of the teams. Next Tuesday, uh, David Brown is going to do another welcome call for any new enrollments. So currently his, uh, his assistant, Anne, is reaching out to anyone that's joined the company within the last couple of weeks. Uh, we're sending out a personal invitation so that we can do a welcome call. Um, this is also for the enroller. So if you've enrolled anyone and if you missed out on the last welcome call, be sure to tune in with David Brown on Tuesday and uh, listen to the welcome call. He does a great job. He gives an update as to where the company is, where the company is going. Um, and uh, we give a little bit of personal attention to those new people that have just joined the company. So if you have someone that is just uh, new, new to the company, be sure you let them know about it. If you don't know how to get them on the welcome call, uh, reach out to your upline. We will get you the information so that you can uh, invite them to join us on Tuesday. And that will be at 7 p.m. Mountain Time. Uh, and it's just going to be on our normal number, the 477-444-4321. We try to keep everything on this number to make it easy for you guys.
Um, let's see, what else do we have? Well, you talked about the drawing taking place this this Friday. Uh, we haven't announced what time that's going to be. I, we, we will need to, so we'll send it out to the uh, you on the US chat. And we should also uh, include that on our Facebook page so that everybody can participate in that, um, the, the drawing. And also that includes the top 10 enrollers are going to be getting coaching as well for the month of November. So there's the drawing and there's also the top 10 enrollers. So all of that will take place this Friday. We hope you guys can all be there. Um, we will probably, boy, I don't know if we're gonna do it twice. We'll probably do one in English and one in Spanish. We normally do that. We have attempted at times to do a Spanish and English um, you know, kind of back and forth. It doesn't typically work out that well. Um, and being the person who jumps back and forth into the two different languages, I think uh, we're going to do two separate calls. Um, and so we'll, we'll let everybody know that, but make sure you're there. It'd be great to see all of you there. And, um, you know, just a word about the coaching, um, uh, you know, because the reason why we want to launch Arrow this way, I think it goes without saying. Uh, we want people, this isn't just a sample that you're going to be receiving. It's, it is a month's supply of the product so that you can try it hot, you can try it cold, you can really get a testimonial um, and you can be active in social media. Um, this is to kick off uh, you know, a pre-launch campaign is really why we're doing this. And we don't, and yes, it's going to be great to have a lot of people using the product during the month of December or you know, the, the lion's share of the month, but also having an experience with a personal, with, with a coach and not just any coach, but somebody who's a, a licensed nutritionist who already has patients and clients uh, that she meets with um, to track the progress and to make sure that, that, that as participants or new users that you're not leaving anything on the table, um, but that you're also looking at what kind of a, 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 a balanced diet you should be using, what types of um, low impact, um, sustainable exercises should you be doing? It's not gonna be anything intense, but I think um, we're, we're, we're trying to cover all of our bases and make sure that we're launching this um, the, the proper way um, and not simply with anecdotes, but also with some real case studies of people who are working with nutritionists. So hopefully some of you will be among those who are working with, with uh, Sinead Irwin. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a, a great month. Um, Angie, did you have anything else that you wanted to cover? I know that we've got Stu here um, uh, that, to, to share a couple of thoughts with everybody. Yeah, yeah. Um, before we pass it over to Stu, yeah. just a reminder that we also have the 500 Club um, running. So we started, we did a reboot of the 500 Club in November. So November, December, January, get 10 enrollments to qualify for the 500 Club. Um, and Stu, I'll pass the time over to you. All right, thanks, Angie. I just wanted to uh, let everybody know and remind everyone that we have our weekly calls, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So tonight, um, Wednesday, Kurt was supposed to be our um, presenter tonight, but I think he's still in China. So whether he logs in from China or we have someone else, um, we will uh, make that adjustment. And But seven o'clock mountain time, we will have our presentation for weekly call. So please, um, invite those that you have recently enrolled or invite those that are kind of stuck at that rank and trying to get to the next one, especially to close the month and the year strong here in December. Uh, we welcome you and them to these calls. It's very entertaining. Um, seriously, Monday nights are, are awesome. I love hearing uh, the testimonials and it's very colorful sometimes, which I like it because people keep it real and they really up, you know, um, speak from their heart and really let us and everyone else know what the product has done for them. And the presentation call just kind of gives a reminder and a refresher of how and why our company is so great uh, from the products that we have to the compensation plan, to the company and everything else in between. And then Friday is always a product call. So I just wanted to share something with you guys real quick. I don't know if you guys can see this. I'm sitting next to what you call a tuba. Um, I think David always tell you guys that um, I like sports and I do. I love, I've been playing football since the age of eight, um, played at the University of Utah. But what he doesn't know and what a lot of 
people don't realize is I like music as well. I've been in the brass band since ninth grade. So 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th grade, I actually played in the band. And during halftime of our football games, I would run on the field and, and join the marching band. And I loved it so much. My first two years um, before my church mission, I actually played as a part-time job the brass band at the Polynesian Cultural Center for tourists, two hours a, uh, a night as a side job before they cancel it, of course. But I love playing the brass, um, the um, um, instruments. Anyway, the tuba is probably the most unsexiest instrument because it's large <laughs> and it's just something that you only get probably two or three notes throughout a song. But if you really think about it, it is the most important instrument in the orchestra and in the brass band because it sets the tone, sets the beat, and sets the pace of the whole song. And if they, those, the tuba players are usually in the very back, you hardly see them, and sometimes you hardly hear them because the trumpets, the trombones, you know, all the other instruments, you know, carry the melody, carry the tone, and that's what people hear. But if you really listen, and if it wasn't for the tuba, the beat and the, and the tone of the whole song would fall apart. So when we do our business, sometimes we try, oh, man, I'm not, I'm not good enough to, to talk, or I don't have those nice, sexy words that, that everybody else have. Believe it or not, what you have is enough. You are in this business because you believe that it works for you and that's all it matters you are the pace setters because you're on this call you set the tone for a company because you're on the call you are the example and the people that actually make our company who we are today and with that you're all tubas because you guys are actually the 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 bass, you guys bring the tone, you guys fill the room, and believe it or not, we actually hear you, we see you, and once again, we thank you for all that you do. So with that, Angie, I'll turn the time back over to you. Thank you, Stu, what a great message. And yes, you guys um, are the tone of the company, and you are setting um, the pace, setting the example for everyone else. Um, what a great message, um, Stu. So at this time, I think we have all the announcements done and I'm just, I'm gonna turn the time over to Ryan and uh, let him end this call for us. Well, uh, thanks Angie and thanks everybody for being on today. Um, I, something that I learned years ago in this industry and I, is, is how to work during the holidays. Um, we haven't really talked too much about you know, this month. Um, we have a, a promotion that I think is gonna be pretty exciting and, and we want to see you know, uh, all these new face masks and water bottles and messenger bags. Uh, they're, they're probably our, our hippest line of swag items that we've ever come out with. Um, they're, gonna, they're gonna keep us all very cool. Um, and I don't mean cold, I mean, you know, cool. Um, and by the way, Stu, I just have to say, whoever told you that the tuba is not a sexy instrument was lying to you. I think, I think it's very cool. You should be very proud of that. I've got these a great image, Stu, of you uh, playing the tuba at the Polynesian Culture, Culture Center. One day you're going to have to give us a demo, okay? Um, anyways, but I digress. Let me get back to what I was just talking about. December, the holidays. There is a big, gigantic secret to growth, right, during the holidays and in this industry. And I can tell you that I have seen this since... I first signed up as an Amway distributor in 1992. Well, actually I didn't see it then because I, I didn't last very long and I didn't like that experience. But in 95, when I formally entered the industry, I saw this cycle occur every single year without exception. Every single year and every single company, whether I was an employee, whether I was a distributor, whether it's a company that I was personally starting um, or launching. And um, it is what happens during the, the winter month, during the holidays. Now, I don't know if this, uh, uh, this uh, 2020 has certainly been precedent setting and that's been very different um, with the uh, people not really going on vacation, but not traveling and, and hopefully that'll continue um, for a little while, at least in, in as much as it affects our business. The big secret is this, we've got to think of the month and as leaders, you've got to think of the month like a rubber band. And I know that many of you already know this and you already talk about this, and you already train this, but for those of you who've never heard this analogy, 
please think of the winter months. And I say winter because depending on what country you are, holidays start in different times, but November, December, and definitely January. January is not a magic month where everybody just decides to get off the bench and get in the game and start, start running hard. It really takes people a while to come out of the, the winter doldrums, the you know, Christmas, the holidays, the new year, and start working again. Um, the secret that I learned a long time ago is you have to think of it as a rubber band. You really do. It's like stretching a rubber band and stretching the rubber band is, is, would be tantamount to being active, having things scheduled on your calendar, meetings, presentations, um, trainings, make sure that the calendar already has things scheduled and people are being contacted and invited to attend these events, right? That's the first thing. That's how you stretch the rubber band. However hard you work during the month of December and January, and it really starts in November, is a big indicator on how far your business is going to go come springtime. If you just work a little bit, it's like pulling your, your rubber band back a tiny bit. It's not going to go very far. And you're going to find yourself in February or March almost feeling like you've got to start over. I've seen this happen time and time and time again, mm. right? So, and I don't think I'm saying anything new or different, but as a reminder, the more, the busier your team is, the busier we keep ourselves during the holiday seasons, right? December, January, November, December, January, you're gonna have a much bigger spring, a much bigger April, May, June, all the way till the end of summer, and the people who I've worked with over the years who have grown the month the most during the big growth month, right, of spring and early summer, always, always attribute that growth, not to what they did in March or April or May, but they attribute it to what they were doing in November, December, and January. Things are cyclical, right? Things have a, a germination period. It's like gardening, right? You don't, you don't just go out and immediately start successfully enrolling people when you first contact them, right? That starts now. So if we wanna have a big harvest in the spring, we've gotta really do a lot of planting right now. So my, my, my recommendation is that we're thinking about that and we're filling the, ca the, the calendar, right? Calendaring events, make sure you're reaching out and it's not a throwaway month. If it's a throwaway month, um, there will be those of you who are starting over in the spring because people go dormant. Right, so, so stay busy, stay active, and remember, think about this analogy of the rubber band. The organizations that grow the month, are, that grow the, month, the most during the year are those that do the most during the holiday months. I've seen that year after year, company after company. Um, so I wanna share that. And then the other thing, just in closing, um, I've been thinking a lot about uh, this meeting, this discussion we had um, I was in, invited on last night with Paige and Aaron and, and Jerry and, and, and all of you that, that um, work with that team. And we were talking about leadership. And, you know, I, I just, another one other observation. There's a tendency today to think that, you know, old rules don't apply. Old principles don't apply. Um, you know, the, the millennials have it figured out. Gen I, the Gen Sat. I will tell you that the, the, the tried and true principles of business, of networking, haven't gone away, right? And, and there is a tendency to think that, that they're not. And sometimes we've got to go hire a guru or find some new coach or find somebody who's going to tell us something we've never heard before that's going to really change, help us change our paradigm and really make a difference in our business. And it's not that they're not that there's not good people with good ideas, but there's no shortage of good ideas. And most of us have all heard them once or twice or a dozen times before. I want to remind you to go back and revisit the roots. I do this regularly. Jim Rohn, when I think of my roots, I think of Jim Rohn. He died in 2006. I had an opportunity to see him in, it was probably 1996 when I was still at Newskin. And I didn't know how lucky or how fortuitous this. It was back then. Um, but, but how I feel about Jim Rohn today, I, I'm really grateful for the opportunity that I was able to sit and listen to him present and after the end of the meeting, actually shake his hand and meet him. But simple principles 
um, that, that, that he, he, he talked, I'll just share with you probably my favorite, my favorite that he talked about was about success, that it's not to be per by the person that you become. We talk a lot about that. It's very in vogue to talk about the law of attraction. When I say in vogue, it's very, you know, most, um, you know, to, to talk about attraction and it's great that this is becoming a mainstream concept, but the, the, the you know, it's and suddenly getting the force like Luke Skywalker and, you know, you start sucking people into your, into your, uh, your, your zone. It is really just becoming a person that people want to be around. And so I would encourage everybody to think about that. What can you do to become the person that will attract people to you? Well, it starts with leadership. And I don't mean titles, I mean the skill of leadership. And I mean authentic leadership. What is authentic leadership? It is servant leadership. Find opportunities to serve. Find opportunities to meet the needs of other people. Be a better listener, right? This is the first step on the journey to, 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 to leadership. It's learning how to, um, how to empathize with people. It's building rapport and rapport is basically is based in, in that empathy. So, you know, I would encourage everybody to go back to the basics, right? If you're struggling, if you're wondering, gosh, what can I do differently? And you're trying all kinds of online marketing campaigns and things like that. I think that that's great, but don't ignore these basic principles because they work. They still work. The greatest companies today, the best companies, they're telling their stories whether it's Zoom or Amazon, their stories are getting out there. They have their own form of rapport that they build in the marketplace. What, how will you build rapport in the marketplace, right? One by one, one person at a time, or in how you tell your story online. So think about that. And, um, you know, lastly, I, I can't, I can't uh, help myself, but but my second favorite thing that, that Jim Rohn talked about was, oh, it looks like my computer's gonna die. So well, here it is, okay, if I'm, 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 racing, I'm racing the clock here. But in the month of December, guys, don't wish that it was easier, wish that we were better. Don't wish for less problems, wish for more skills, and don't wish for less challenges, wish for more wisdom. Um, you know, these, these tried and true principles of Jim Rohn, and they're not unique to his. There's a lot of wisdom in there. And I would just encourage people to start with yourself before you start with other people. Go look in the mirror and say, how can I become that better person, right? Because when you do, you will attract the right people. Your business will grow. That's the message I want to leave with, leave with you. And I hope that you guys have an absolutely unforgettable, um, very accomplished, successful month of December. Anything we can do for you, we're here for you. So Angie, I'll turn the time back to you. Thank you, Ryan. Uh, what a great message. And uh, yes, let's all go be the rubber bands of actives. Um, so let's get out there. Have a great December. Uh, and we'll see you guys next week. Thank you, everyone. Thanks, Andy. Take care, everybody. Merry Have a great Christmas. day.